Good morning. Let's try this again. Let's see if I can get the video correct. All right, there we go. We were sideways. If you tried to jump on a minute ago, I apologize. I haven't I haven't forgotten to rotate my phone in a very long time. But it looks like that's how we're starting the day today. Hello, hello, everybody. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. It is day four of our Pink Bug Roo 12 Days of Christmas, and I've got two really, really cute projects for you today. I'm gonna give everybody a couple minutes to jump on. Um, hopefully you guys are there. It's taken a minute, it seems like, this morning. There we go. Hi, Vicki, good morning. I'm so glad you guys have joined me this morning. If you're like me, you're still in your pajamas. A little early morning Black Friday shopping for me this morning. It's dark and dreary here today, which I kind of like. Um, <laughs> and uh, it's quiet. My husband went hunting. The kids are still asleep. Um, and uh, it's kind of one of those relaxed days, right? Hopefully you guys um, had a great day. Oh, Deidre, you're changing your oil. No, yuck. That's not a fun task to do. Although, the last time I got my oil changed, I was able to stay in my car, pull in, roll down my window, they entered my information, they changed my oil, charged me, and I drove right out. It was really nice. I don't know if they're doing that more places, but it was awesome. I didn't have to get out of my car at all. Happy day after Thanksgiving to you, Debbie, as well. It's good to see you guys. Okay, let's see. Um, Where did I put right here? I wanted to show you guys, I forgot to pull this over. I sent out the email last night, the Menagerie Mix-Up Calendar Class to Go is listed and taking registration. The PDF is now up and ready. Um, and can I just say that it takes me, it's a struggle for me to spell that correctly every time. <laughs> every time I have to go and look. So if you see it misspelled somewhere where I've typed it, just know that I cannot spell that word to save my life for some reason. Menagerie mix-up, super cute stamp set. I've designed a desktop calendar. Um, it looks like this. And the class kit will come with the calendar pages already ready for you, so you don't have to print anything out. Um, it will include a pack of paper, pack of rhinestones, bolt of, uh, of linen thread, and you can get it with or without the bundle. Um, oh yeah, it will come with a cute little easel as well. Um, let's see, there's lots of add-ons for this uh, class because I use so many different Stampin' Blends. I'm offering the option to add on Stampin' Blends if you need them. Um, also, because the stamp set doesn't use, doesn't have any words, I'm uh, the two stamp sets I used are Well Said and A Wish For Everything. So you can use what you have, of course. Um, don't be, don't be, um, afraid to pull out your stamps and look at words in other stamp sets. I love to pull sayings from other stamp sets to use them at different times. It's always kind of a fun little treasure hunt. So don't feel like you necessarily have to have the two sentiment stamp sets. Although if you want them, I'm offering them as an add-on as well. The deadline for this class is December 14th. I will, my goal is to have them in the mail by December 21st. Um, this is a big class. It includes a lot of stuff. If you're gonna get it with the bundle, it's 84. The bundle itself is uh, 50 something. I can't remember now off the top of my head. It's 50 something, it's a higher end bundle. Without the bundle, 49. The PDF is $15. That's an immediate download. As soon as you buy it, it'll be emailed to you. So um, if you don't get it, you guys, if you buy a PDF for me and it doesn't show up, email me. Um, I, I would say maybe 10 to 20% of those end up bouncing around in cyberspace. I don't know why. I don't know how to fix it. Um, but if you ever don't receive it, just shoot me an email and say it never came and I'll be happy to send it back over to you. And then my downline gets the kit for 25 this time. Okay. So if you want that class, the deadline is December 14th. I, I can't list the direct link there on here on Facebook or my blog. You have to actually email me. Um, to request that link. Or if you're on my newsletter email list, I sent it out yesterday, so it should be somewhere in your inbox. And you can just click the link in that email and that will take you directly to the registration page. Okay, so today, day four, 
tomorrow um, is day five. I'm actually going to do a Facebook Live on Saturday. I, I usually never work on Saturday, but I'm going to do that because we took Thursday off. Um, and we're going to do a rustic retreat tomorrow. That's um, a stamp set in the annual catalog. Um, and today we're going to do the, I put Trimming the Town. That's the sweet name we're going to do. It's the stamp set. It's called Coming Home. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, but let's do some prizes. Hello, um, Rhonda, good question. The PDF does not include the calendar. The calendar was purchased online. You can purchase a calendar um, for the class. If you buy the PDF, there's a link in the PDF where I bought the calendar. It was uh, five bucks over at Tailored Expressions. So you can buy the calendar. I am not printing the calendars myself, so I don't have a PDF of that calendar. Good question. Okay, so today we are using Coming Home. I said that. Let's do prizes. Um, you guys, if you go over to pinkbuckaroo.com, um, you will find all the stuff you need for today, the measurements, the supply list, as well as the link uh, to enter for today's drawing. Today I'm going to be giving away... Christmas means more. Actually, I'll give them away tomorrow. Christmas means more. I have two of them. So if you go over to pinkbuckaroo.com, um, down towards the bottom, once I upload the video, it'll be under the video. Um, and you just click on that link and answer a question or two, and then that puts you in the drawing. So then I will pick two random numbers. And this, uh, yeah, uh, let's see, Wednesday's winners, the two winners are Donna. Donna, I have your mailing address. And Carol Doty. Carol, I don't think I have your mailing address. So please uh, message or email me your address so I can get, get your stamp set out to you. Itty Bitty Christmas is one of the best stamp sets to have because it has a ton of sentiments. We're actually using this one right here today. Have a sugar sprinkled season. Okie dokie, let's see. I think that's all the announcements for today. I need to move my iPad so that I can see what you guys are saying. Let me move this over here. Hello, everybody. It's so good to see you. I hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving. We had a great Thanksgiving. It was lots and lots of food. Um, I made four dishes. My mom made, I don't know, four or five, whatever, in the desserts. And one of the things I made were carrots that... Um, it took me forever to peel them and we forgot to serve them. They sat over in the crock pot on the side of the kitchen and we forgot to serve them. Have you guys ever done that? Oh, I was so mad. Um, but we ate them last night. We had leftovers last night, so we ate them and then I will be eating them for lunch today. <laughs> They're really good. If you've ever gone to Bob's Steakhouse, they hit, they serve their steaks with a giant carrot, and it's so tender and sweet. And that's I got the copycat recipe online. It was so delicious. Okay, let's look and see what we're doing today. So today we're going to make two projects using this stamp set. And I had a, I had a class to go, or no, no, it was um, um, Club Create in September, I believe, maybe October, that used this stamp set. That PDF is still available in my PDF store. I meant to link that on today's blog. So if you're looking for more projects, more Christmas project ideas for your coming home stamp set, make sure you click on that link. I will add it to my blog post. I forgot to do that. Um, so that if you want to uh, get the PDF, it's still available and it has a, a video in it. And so I decided to turn the houses into gingerbread men houses or gingerbread houses. Aren't they adorable? And I was looking everywhere for this box. Um, Christmas gingerbread cookies from Little Debbie. And the Little Debbie snack finder told me that they were at my most low, you know, my two closest grocery stores. I went several times, could not find them. Went to other grocery stores, couldn't find them anywhere. Have you guys seen these in the store? I could not find them anywhere. So I ordered them on Amazon and it took like forever and they actually showed up. I didn't think they were going to come. So they came Wednesday, late Wednesday afternoon, so I have them. But let me show you what I ended up using. Um, the Cliff Bar Ice Gingerbread. They're a seasonal. Um, and you know what? This, are, these are, this is something you would want to give to, like, maybe your friend who is a healthy person and doesn't want junk. A Cliff Bar. My daughter loves these. Um, during tennis season, we buy lots of Cliff Bars. So gingerbread, iced, ice gingerbread Cliff Bar is what's going to fit in here. However... Um, I made this box originally for this gingerbread man because many, many years ago I made a box for the gingerbread man. And so I already had the measurement. So I will list 
or on my blog, there's measurements for this guy and for this guy, okay? Um, I didn't end up finishing him with the um, embellishments, but you can make the same box for the Little Debbie Gingerbread Man or the Gingerbread Cliff Bar. We'll make this one because that's what I had prepped before <laughs> the Little Debbie arrived. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna start, I'm also using Banner Year Christmas Wishes right here. I'm using Itty Bitty Christmas Sentiment right here. And then I'm using the Sweetest Time. We use this just, a, what, a week ago or so. I'm gonna use the two little candy pieces here to decorate our gingerbread houses, okay? And all of that is listed over there on my blog. Uh, at the bottom of today's post, there is um, a long supply list for you, okay? So we're gonna kind of work through these at the same time because we're gonna emboss the gingerbread houses all together and we're gonna do the background stamping all together as well. That way we can kind of get them done at the same time since they're using a lot of the same products. And it looks like my stamp is dirty, doesn't it? I was just using this. What did I just use this for? Um, I don't remember, but it looks like I had, oh, I know, I know what I was using it for. All right, so we're gonna clean this. If you guys don't know, this is my favorite stamp ever, the Buffalo background stamp. And I actually have extra Stamparatus plates and this one just stays on my Stamparatus plate. <laughs> it never comes off. So that's why it's here and it's still inked up. Hopefully I got it clean, my chamois is almost dry. Let's check that out and see because we're stamping on white paper. Oh, look, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's too early in the day for my hands to look like that. Oh well, that's that's what happens when you try to do this while you're supposed to be on vacation. All right, let's see, how does it look? Yep, it looks clean. Okay, now let's stamp this in. We're gonna do Whisper White. Hopefully I don't get brown ink all over everything. I need to wash my chamois, obviously. All right, I'm gonna stamp it in real red on Whisper White cardstock. Good morning, everybody. It's so good to see you guys. Hopefully you are having a relaxing morning. It is raining here, you guys. It hasn't rained here um, significantly since I think like early September. And so to have rain after that many months of no rain is awesome. Look at that, you guys. It's stamped perfectly the first time. I love when that happens. All right, so now we're also gonna do um, real red for this little heart right here. We're gonna stamp it in real red ink on real red cardstock. Let's see, there we go. Good morning, good morning. It's so good to see you guys. All right. There we go. You know what, I think I'm gonna, it doesn't matter because I'm just stamping a tiny little heart out of this. So we'll just go with it. Okay, now we're gonna stamp those houses and let's look at what we need. We need two of the tall houses, one big, one small, two big trees and a small tree. So we're gonna do all of that here on um, soft suede and I'm gonna use my white craft ink. And the craft ink comes in an uninked um, stamp pad and with an ink refill. And you just squirt your ink on there. And, uh, and then it's nice and juicy. I'm gonna restamp that one because it doesn't look like I did a very good job with that one. I'm gonna get nice and juicy coverage on that, okay? Now we need two trees. Oh, let's see. All right, we'll go with it. <laughs> we'll go with it. How many trees? We needed two big, one small, and then last but not least, one small house. All right, now let's put white embossing powder all over it. I put my embossing powder in a little, like a little Tupperware that um, you can get these, the ones that I'm using. I, I get them at TJ Maxx, but I think I've seen them at Target as well. 
just kind of makes things a little bit easier. All right, well, we'll just do this one over here too, just to make sure. All right, I think, I think we've got it. Okay, now, let me get a paper towel or a tissue, get that off. Hopefully you guys are gonna have some stamping time this weekend. I uh, was kind of excited to see that it was gonna be rainy and gloomy all weekend because then that means I can just stamp and watch Netflix. I have started season four of The Crown. Have you guys watched The Crown? Oh, it's so good. It is so, so, so good. I, season three wasn't as good as season one and two, but season four is pretty darn good. It's about, um, look at that, I just smeared that. All right, well, we're gonna go with it. Um, it's about, a lot about Princess Diana. So if you haven't watched The Crown, you totally should. And then after that, I'm gonna watch The Queen's Gambit. I've heard that is excellent. Have any of you watched that? It's new to Netflix. I think it's like a limited series. I love when I have series to watch. I hate those days when I'm like, ugh, there's nothing I, there's nothing I want to watch right now. And then I start watching the news, and, well, we know how that ends. It's never fun to watch the news. I'm trying to do a total detox from all news. I just watch too much news, and it just makes me grouchy. So I'm trying to do a detox. I haven't watched the news in a long time. Well, a long time for me being a news junkie. All right, I got kind of messy with this, but it's just gonna have to be how it is. I'm a messy stamper, pretty messy. All right, once you have all of that set, let's turn that off. And I'm um, Sarah. She says the Queen's Gambit is really good. Okay, it's basically the Eddie Fisher story. Okay, good. I can't wait. That's next on our list. We have, um, my husband and I have been watching his dark materials. It's um, the Golden Compass books, you know, um, and it's been really good, but we've like reached the end. There's no more new episodes, so we've got to find something else. And I, I told him, I think the, that Queen's Gambit is something we could watch together. He doesn't like The Crown, so I watch that on my own. But The Queen's Gambit is next. Hopefully, it is as good as I hear. All right, we're going to run these through. Let's see if I can get how many I can cut out at one time. Yeah, Karen, no news is good news. I agree these days. Ugh. It's just everything so negative and divisive and grouchy and we're all gonna die basically that's what the news is <laughs> and I'm tired of hearing it so I will escape and watch fiction our um city actually um put in place a curfew on I guess it was like Wednesday and I didn't even know because I haven't been watching the news and I saw it on Facebook. I have a friend who owns a bar, or well, a Facebook friend who owns a bar, and he was up in arms about it. And I was like, what? I didn't, I didn't even know. So it was nice that I didn't know. Not that it would affect me because I'm pretty much in bed at 10. <laughs> oh, Cindy, your husband liked the Queen's Gambit? Okay, good. Um, I, I think my husband will like it. It looks really, really good. All righty. Now, we've got those pieces. Oh, while we're here, let's cut out our heart from this piece. All right. Oh, and you know what? I should have stamped our little... I'll do that, too. Our We need two candies. We need a candy cane and a peppermint, of course, to go with our to go with our, um, what am I trying to say, gingerbread house. I'm looking at what pieces I have over here. Okay, 
before I move this out of the way, let's do this. We're going to stamp that the candy cane in real red and the peppermint in real red. And let's get those dies. Those are from the Sweetest Time dies that we used the other day. And this one. Um, speaking of shows and movies, we, before the world went sideways, we went to the movies all the time. That was like our family's thing to do. On Saturday night, we go to the movies. Not every Saturday night, but a lot of Saturday nights. My husband and I love, love, love to go to the movies. And our local theaters here have upgraded to where you can like eat dinner at the movies. And the seats recline, you know, so it's just, ugh, I love it. Um, they even have these little, um, like little pods that you, you can buy. You can't buy just one seat. You have to buy two because they're in like this little pod and it has a little table between it. And you have like a little server that comes and brings you popcorn and drinks. It's so awesome. However, you know, since the world went crazy, we haven't been able to do that. But I saw that there was a new kids movie out and I think my kids may be past their prime for the kids movies, but I may see if I can get them to, to go with me. <laughs> so I love going to the movies and our movie, our local movie theater is open and they need business. So I will be happy to support them. Okay, so now we're gonna cut this piece down to three and three fourths, three and three fourths by five. We do have to wear our masks all through the movie, which is fine. I can I can deal with it. I'm used to the mask now. We, have to, we do that at church too. So you know. I have always said this whole time, I'll be willing and happy, happy to wear a mask as long as we can just, you know, have some normalcy. Ugh, I don't know about you guys, but oh my gosh, look at that. All right, that one's not going to do today. Let's try that again. Rewind. Look, it's doing it again. Is it because it's so humid today? All right. Hmm. Hold, please. I don't normally have that trouble with my stamp and seal plus. All right, well there we go. Usually it's my stamp and seal that does that. All right, there we go. Hmm. 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 All right, so I mat I put it on a real red um cardstock mat that's four by five and a fourth. All right, and we've got all of our little houses. Let's emboss this white piece. Did I? Yep, I saved the right one. We're going to emboss this, but you know what I need to do? <laughs> I need to close these. The yellow strip on my trimmer. Um, Cindy, that's a great question. It, uh, let me just pull that back out. Where did I put it? Oh, right here. I put um, washi tape right here on the other side. See how I put washi tape so that I could see the numbers better. I was having a hard time seeing the numbers. That's all it is, just washi tape. I, I could not see the numbers. Old eyes. It just, I just couldn't see them, so I thought, let's make that. If I put something behind it, I can see it, and it works really well. Okay, so we're gonna use this, this embossing folder. Mm, now I can't remember what it's called, but I do have it listed over on the supply list. It's a little two-pack embossing folder set that will fit in the new mini. By the way, you guys, the new mini machine is coming in January. We just found out that Stampin' Up! Demonstrators can pre-order it in December. So I will have it in December to show you. And then you guys will be able to order it. Oh, look, that's the wrong piece. I embossed that piece that I stamped on. Here's the piece I was supposed to emboss. It's all right. We'll cut it down. Um, what am I saying? So the mini machine, it is coming. If you want it sooner than if you buy the starter kit, you will be able to buy it in December. I believe it's December 1st. Is that right, you guys? December 1st. 
um, pre-order for demonstrators. So excited about the little mini. Okay, so we've got this little embossed piece right here. All right, now we're gonna stamp our sentiment. I am using Banner Year Christmas Wishes. There we go. And, hi Nathan, you like that little trick with the uh, washi tape? I don't know how I thought of that. I don't know if I saw it somewhere or if I just, I couldn't see the numbers. And maybe because when I have, you know, when you have paper under there, it's a little bit easier to see. So I thought if I put tape under there, it would help me. I think it was when I was doing a fussy, I mean, a fancy fold card where you had to cut within the card stock and you had to line it up. I think that's when I did it because I could not see them. Okay, so I stamped the Christmas wishes on a Whisper White Tasteful Labels die shape. And now we're going to, I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to get this one because I don't like the way this looks up here. So I'm going to fill it in with my chalk marker so that it looks like icing. Okay, if you guys don't have a chalk marker, you need one. Add it to your order next time. I think it's like $3, $3.50, something like that. And it is fun. It's a fun one to use. Little icing there. Okay, now let's layer it up. We're going to put that with a dimensional right there and we'll put this one over here with a dimensional overlapping all right and then we'll get our little candy cane and our little peppermint and we'll get many dimensionals and let's put the round one look how that fits perfectly right there it's like they knew that we were gonna use that candy uh, stamp. It's perfect. All right, we're gonna put that there. And then we'll get the little tree. Now, once you look at these houses as gingerbread houses, the, the possibilities kind of explode, right? Think of all the fun things. I mean, it has a totally different look than um, the sweet, the sweet, uh, trimming the town sweet with the designer series paper has a totally different look. So just another way to get more use out of your stamps. You don't have to color them, which is awesome, right? Sometimes we are, don't want to color. Um, I just think it's so cute as gingerbread house. All right, there you go. Now, wait a minute. Let's fill that in a little bit more. I think I'm going to color that in too. I didn't emboss that very well. So we'll just cover it up with some icing. Ta-da! So cute. What do you guys think? Now you could think about this. If you're gonna make something homemade and you just wanna do a tag and like tie it on a cello bag, this right here, like this piece with these could be your tag. How cute would that be, right? Get rid of the card and just use that as your tag. Uh-huh. I think it would be so stinking cute. Okay, so now let's make the treat that could go along with it. Remember, I am using the gingerbread cliff bars. I got them at Target. I'm sure they're everywhere, but they're seasonal flavor. All right, seasonal flavor. I'll put a link on my blog. I didn't do that. I'll put a link on my blog for those. Originally, here was my original design project. I was going to do the gingerbread man from Little Debbie, but for some reason I could not find the Little Debbie snacks. And I think what I did um, the first time I made these is I stapled or put a bow here so it pulled out like that. Um, it's just a little slider box. So the measurements for both are over there on my blog, depending on which one you want. Okay, so now let's look at what we have. You're gonna need, to make the little holder, you're gonna need your Stampin' <laughs> all the way on the side of the room, hold on. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, not only do I have ink on my hand, but I just put my, put my hand down in wet glue. <laughs> I'm gonna need another shower today. My goodness. Okay, so this is a 10 and a half by three and three-fourths. On the short side, we're gonna score it at 
um, a half inch from each side, which is a half and three and a fourth. And then we're gonna do, you know what, I better check my notes. I thought I knew it in my head, but I better check. I think it's five and five, five and a half, but let's make sure. Yep, five and five and a half. Suddenly I was second guessing myself. Five and five and a half. All right. Then before we put it together, we're gonna add some little stitching lines with our chalk marker. All right. This is um, kind of like a like chalkboard. I haven't done a chalkboard in a long time, and I love the way that looks. I actually went, when I went back to look for the measurements for the gingerbread box, I saw a tag that I made years ago that was like this, and it had, it used the gingerbread man punch. Remember when we had the cute gingerbread man stamp set with a gingerbread man punch? And it was so cute. So I thought, ooh, let's make the box like that. All right, so we've got that done. This is a super, super easy little slider box. All I'm gonna do is put adhesive on here and I'm gonna fold it up like that, all right? Now let's see if these guys are gonna behave. That one is a hot mess. I'm not gonna use that one. That one is too. Okay, let's see. Hmm, there we go really strong adhesive this morning, not wanting to behave. There we go, we'll fold those little tabs in. You know what, let's do, let's put a little bit of adhesive on the outside of those squares first. Fold them in like that. Then fold the front flaps around, okay? Now, to make it look like a chalkboard, we're gonna take Whisper White Craft Ink and a sponge and just go around the edges like this. I love to do this, this is fun. Fun little technique. There we go. Okay, now where's our cliff bar? For our healthy friends, for athlete friends who don't want candy, you can give them something fun. There we go. And we'll layer all of these up. Let's see, we've got the heart. I cut out the little tree from Granny Apple using the Warm Hugs dies. Okay, there's a little tree die there. So that's where that's from. All right, we'll put our tall house here and we're gonna put our tree over here kind of raised and then we'll put that house right there and then the other tree right here like that and then the heart The heart can go right there in the middle and the tree will need a mini. I like the way Granny Apple Green looks with real red and black really pops off like that. Okay, last but not least, we need to do the sentiment. And who knows, now that my table's a giant mess, let's use, let's use, let's use this piece right here. And did I not pull that stamp out? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, hold on again, here we go. It's right here. It's right here. And we'll use this little stamp, this little um, block. I'm gonna stamp it here on Whisper White. And I'm gonna get my trimmer. And I'm gonna cut it down to just however wide. And then we're gonna cut a V on the bottom and I don't have my punch. So this is the way I used to do it before we had a punch. Cut a line in the middle and then take your scissors and cut up to that. See how that works? Most of the time you get a pretty good even V there. All right, last but not least, we need the ribbon. 
Oh my gosh, we've come off. We've, the wheels have come off, my friends. Everything's missing. I don't know where the ribbon is. Look, isn't that ribbon cute? But I don't have it here, so we'll use this ribbon. This ribbon's cute too, but that is the Playful Pets ribbon. You know, the, the one where during October I was using all the black and white, and now I have all the red and white left, so I've got to use it up for Christmas. Okay, and then a little glue dot and done. Now, I think that these could be easily mass produced. You know, if you do all your stamping and embossing first, like I did all on the paper and then emboss and heat all at the same time, cut them all at the same time, and then assemble. I think that that would make these pretty quick and easy, don't you think? All right, and there's the little short gingerbread man one. I didn't I didn't do the heart. Actually, what I did is I made this one first, and then I didn't have the gingerbread man, so I had to use the cliff bar, so I just pulled that off of there. That's why there's not one. Okay, you guys, we're done. Um, so our, my little special for the one-day sale ended, but of course I've got another special for you. Usually Facebook Friday, it's three projects free with an order by Monday. So there's not three projects today. So what I'm going to do is if you put in an order between now and Monday at midnight and you use this host code and it's over $35, I'll send you a make and take from today. Probably, I don't know which one I'll send. I don't know. I'll send you one of these, one from tomorrow and one from Monday. Okay, so those orders have to be in Monday by midnight, and then I will cut them and ship them on Tuesday. And then Tuesday will start over, and it'll be a project from Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday for next week. Does that make sense, you guys? Hopefully. So if you need to put in an order between now and Monday at midnight, use that host code, and I'll send you a project from today, tomorrow, and Monday. All right, you guys, thanks for sticking with me through my hot mess today. <laughs> It was a hot mess. Um, I appreciate you. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. I am very thankful, of course, for all of you. And I will see you all on Monday. Now, Monday, we're switching back to the afternoon. So it'll be 2 o'clock Central Monday. Oh, no, no. Tomorrow first. Tomorrow's still in the morning, 10. And then I will see you. I keep thinking today is Saturday. No. I will see you tomorrow at 10 a.m., Monday at 2 p.m. If I am making zero sense, check that, that schedule on my blog. <laughs> All right, you guys, have a great afternoon and I'll see you tomorrow, 10 a.m. Bye.